Discussion tonight about letting the University of Rochester keep running East High. This, as the contract to do so, is set to end next year. The superintendent of the Rochester City School District wants East back under RCSD control. Jatira Marsh attended the meeting tonight and joins us now with more on what was said. Jatira. Adam, Teresa, this meeting was held by the North Winton Association, basically a group of neighbors living around East High that hailed a partnership between the school and U of R as a success. Most there tonight want to stay the way it is. As you can see, there was a packed room of community members inside the St. John Evangelist School for North Winton Association monthly meeting. Some at tonight's meeting were quick to point out that the state gave the University of Rochester control over East High nearly 10 years ago because it was doing so badly under RCSD leadership. In 2014, as Mary mentioned, um, East was a persistently violent and dangerous and failing school. Because of that, that triggered protection under a receivership law, Education Law 211E. And that all allows for an educational partnership organization, an institute of higher ed, to come in and work <coughs> alongside the district. East EPO Assistant Superintendent Katarina Leone says this contract with the University of Rochester has provided management of curriculum work, consultation from the university, and hands-on learning for students. Leone says with this partnership, they have significantly raised the graduation rate. So a four-year graduation rate, meaning that's how the state counts it, from 33% up to 80% in four years. And she says now the dropout rate is at its lowest at 12% compared to 41% when the EPO first began. She says the goal is to maintain consistency under the partnership and protect students from the instability that could come from changes related to the district's reconfiguration plan. So it's renew the EPO, establish a transition plan if the EPO is going to go away that isn't immediate, right? That allows us to consider what are these tangible and intangible things that must continue. And it's also putting the needs of children first in our decision making instead of the politics and the question about budget. Last month, RCSD Superintendent Carmine Peluso made his pitch to the board of ED on why East should come back to RCSD. He said some of it comes down to financials and efficiency, while he also said he would be foolish to remove various elements the school that uh, are working on. Teresa Adam, back to you. All right, Jatira, thank you.